Today I'm going to show you how to transition between two videos using generative fill within Photoshop. It's pretty nuts, but basically it will allow us to bridge the gap between these videos and create a seamless transition. If you think that sounds cool, then click that like button and subscribe for more. We are now in Premiere and we have these four clips in our timeline. As you can see, they are separate videos and we are gonna blend them together seamlessly. Let's start with this first one right here. In order to do this transition, you have to go find a point that you wanna start the transition at. So right here, this is where the transition will be. And then we have to decide how long this transition will be. Typically 10 to 20 frames works really well, but we can customize this later. So I'm gonna hit hold the shift key and the right arrow key four times. 5, 10, 15, 20. That'll jump me 20 frames out in that direction. And then I'm simply gonna click C on my keyboard and make a cut. Now we're gonna drag our first video layer up and you also have to drag out that video layer and then make a cut at the beginning of the transition. And you can drag that back down. What this does is it, it will give us an area that we can customize. So now we have to start to think of wh where are we transitioning to and from. So this video right here, I wanna transition up into the bottom of this video. So we know that we wanna transition up. All we have to do is highlight those videos in the middle, which is our transition layer, and right click and go to nest. You can just name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it one to stay organized since this is the first transition. Now let's double click in on it and you can see we have our two layers in here. Head up to the top, go to sequence and sequence settings. And then under vertical, we need to adjust the canvas of this to match and give space for the generative fill transition elements. So since we are transitioning vertically, all we have to do is type this asterisk three. So that'll give us 1080 times three and it'll expand our canvas and then just click okay. Now what we need to do is we need to select our first video layer and move it down to the bottom. So under effects, controls, motion, position, drag that all the way down to the bottom. And once you get close, hold control, that will slow it down and drag it all the way down until the black disappears. And now click our second video layer and drag it up. This will change every time you make a new transition. So just keep that in mind. Now, once we have this, this is kind of the basis of our clean plate. So what we can do first is go back to our transition layer and start to create that transition. What we have to do is go to the effects tab and type in transform and drag that onto our nested transition layer. We wanna start by going down to our first video layer, which is at the bottom in this case, and just get that so it fills up the whole frame add a keyframe under position and drag that to the beginning. And now we want to go all the way up to the top. It's okay if you have some black edges on the transition portion, meaning like the middle area, but we wanna make sure the top portion is fully full. So all we have to do is right click on our first keyframe, go to ease out, right click on our next one, go to ease in. And then I want this transition to start slower. So I'm going to click and drag that out quite a bit and then drag that last keyframe all the way to the end. So now we have this. And there is no motion blur, as you can see. So what we wanna do is uncheck use composition shutter angle and change the shutter angle to 100. Now let's double click into our nested layer and go somewhere in the middle. And all we have to do is click this export frame button. And if you don't see that, click the button editor over here on the right and drag on the export frame button. Save that to somewhere where we can find it. I'm gonna name it one. Now let's open up Photoshop beta. All we have to do is drag in that image that we just took a screenshot of and simply click the selection tool. And I'm going to click and make sure there's a little area left over on the top and the bottom. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of overlap. And then make that selection, click generative fill, leave this blank and click generate. Now you can see that it started to generate some images and we can click this arrow to scroll through here and see which ones we like. If you don't like any of them, you can simply click the generate button again. So I actually like this one right here because we have some blue in the sky and it looks like we're transitioning through the world. So all you have to do once you find one that you like is go to file, export, export as, 
make it a JPEG and drag the quality all the way up to high, click export, and let's name this 1.1. So I'm gonna stay organized. Back into Premiere Pro and highlight all of our layers in the nested transition layer and drag them up one. And then we're gonna drag in 1.1 beneath our video layer. And you can cut it down to size, but it doesn't really matter in this case. As you can see, our video is already here and it's pretty blended. If we go back to our layer, you can see that we've already added these keyframes. So if you play this, we have a seamless transition. Now here's the fun thing. You can actually play around with the length of this now. For example, if you want this to be longer, simply just drag out your nested layer, but you can't drag it out. So all we have to do is double click in here and then just highlight your video layers and drag them out. For example, my first video layer is actually ending right here, so that's the farthest I can drag it out. But all I have to do is drag that out and then drag out your ending keyframe layer and then adjust your ending clip and drag that back down. So now we have a longer transition. Since we are doing motion blur, it will always blend that hard line or that cut that you see. For example, if I take the motion blur away, you can see that we have this little line right here. But I recommend keeping our shutter angle around 100. Now let's show you a couple more options. This time we're gonna to transition to the right between this image and this image. So let's just go to our transition point, hold the shift key, right arrow key four times, one, two, three, four, make a cut. Let's just move that up and let's just drag this out and cut at the beginning right there. Highlight both those, right click nest, click okay. Now let's double click in here and let's just keep in mind that our video on top is the video that we are transitioning into. And we know we're transitioning to the right, so let's go to Sequence, Sequence Settings, and under Horizontal this time, click Asterisk times three, and that will expand our canvas to the right. Since our top video layer now, we need to have on the far right side, let's simply um, go to Effects Controls, Position, and drag that out to the right till it disappears. Click on our bottom video layer and drag this out to the left until it disappears, holding Control to slow down as we get closer. Now we are done with that, we can just export the frame and I'm going to name it 2 and click OK. And then we're going to go back into our layer right here and we can start to adjust the keyframe so that when we get the generative fill, we are good to go. Drag on the transform effect and then let's drag this all the way to the left since this is our starting image right here and make the position so that our left side is all the way brushed up like that add a keyframe, drag it to the beginning, and then let's go to the right until we get to our ending video, hold to the edge just like so, and then drag that out here. Right click on our first keyframe, temporal interpolation, ease out, right click on our last one, ease in, click this little down arrow, drag that out all the way and drag that to the end, uncheck use composition shutter angle, click 100. Now we can just go into Photoshop beta, drag in your image, make sure your rectangle selection tool is selected and highlight that with some overlap. This is okay right here that her arm is here because it's going to all blend together. Click generative fill, generate. So that one looks a little funky. Let's click through here. Not too bad, not too bad. And this one has like a ball right there. So I'm gonna use this one right here. Her hand is a little morphed, but that's okay because it's gonna be blended. Go to File, Export, Export As, JPEG, drag that up. Now that we're in Premiere, double click on our nested sequence layer, drag both of our videos up and drag in our 2.1. We can actually just leave that hanging out there for now. Go back into our generator fill layer. And if we play this back, we have created another seamless transition. So that looks really clean. Now you can mess around with your keyframes up here on any of these nested layers and you can create your own presets so you can just drag and drop them on when you make some more. We're gonna end this video by doing one more transition and I'm going to transition from this one to this one. Typically you wanna follow the motion. So my image is moving to the right and then this one's going to the right as well. But since we just did that, I'm going to flip these images so I can show you another example of going left. And this one I'm gonna do really quick. See if you can follow along. We have our transition layer. 20 frames out in that direction, drag this out, make a cut, make a cut, nest that layer. Double click on our nested layer, sequence, sequence settings, horizontal, times three, click okay. Drag our first video to the left, drag our second video to the right. Export that frame. Go back to our nested sequence layer, add transform, keyframe position from the left all the way to the right. Ease out and ease in, drag our ramp, Uncheck use composition shutter angle, change that to 100. Drag in your image 
make a selection, click generative fill. This one works, so let's go to file, export, export as, JPEG. Back into Premiere, double click on our layer, drag these up, drag in 3.1, and we have a seamless blended image. Go back to our layer, and if we play this back, you can see that we have a seamless transition. If you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something, please click that like button and consider subscribing because it really helps out the channel. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, stay creative. I'll see you next time.